God, so this bitch is just fucking screaming. She is screaming louder than any bitch I've ever heard in my fucking lifetime. So loud that this dude down the street calls fucking 911, yo. Whatever. So I end up, uh, whatever, grabbing my shit to go. And it turns out this girl can't even fucking walk. So whatever. I thank her for a fantastic fucking evening. Grab my shit and just fucking dip. Anyway, so I, I hear from that informant buddy of yours or whatever. I don't know if I do whatever. Whatever, the fucking dude. Yeah. So yeah. whatever. So he tells me that these uh, cops or whatever end up coming to her place and take her to the hospital. Turns out that this girl can't even get free fucking coverage because shit was consensual. She wasn't attacked. And on top of that, and it. on top of that, it, yeah. she couldn't even afford the fucking coverage to get fixed, bro. So what does the okay. doctor do? He throws her in a fucking wheelchair and just gets her out of the hospital, straps her in. Guess she's going to get fixed up when she's got the money. Who the fuck knows when that's going to be? I totally... Shut it. So wait, what the fuck was the point of this story again? The, the fucking point in the story was to answer your fucking question, so shut the fuck up. The point of the story is that we see these bitches in these fucking chairs all the goddamn time. You see them rolling around, you automatically assume that they have this tragic accident that happens to them. 90% of the time, it's probably true. But sometimes these bitches want to fuck a fucking beast like me and they land themselves in this situation, so... I don't understand why the government should have to fucking pay for these bitches to get covered when they put themselves in this predicament of their own goddamn free will. Well, that's because most men are. Women, for that matter, don't have fucking fuck machines that put other women in wheelchairs. Take that as a compliment. Are you sure? So bitch ain't gonna get fixed, eh? Mm. When that new healthcare rolls in, she will. Just for fucking socialists. Ain't that right, Sergio? We have to be aware of this shit before the government comes in and takes over this place. First, healthcare, now guns and immigration. I want to be able to fucking shoot someone in the head, watch them die without meds, go home and watch an illegal alien cut my grass. But if these bastards can have their way, I ain't get none of that. You're fucked, you know that? You may be used to that shit from whatever shit you come from, but this is America. I want the freedom to do whatever the fuck I want. Fuck off, man. Okay, just watch. This is how it starts. Soon, prostitution is going to be illegal in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going to be out of the job? Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. <laughs> not not uh, the, No bodies. Who the fuck are you? What are you a fucking mutey ashy goddamn question? Ah, uh, calm down, everybody. He's with me. He wants into the game. I th when did we start letting outsiders in our game, boss? Well, I figured we'd try things a little differently tonight. Okay? Have a seat, guy. It's a 50k buy-in. He doesn't have any money. What, you letting this fucking asshole still play with us? Well, uh, I figured we'd give him a shot, see what happens. See what happens? If he wins, he wins everything. If he loses, he loses nothing? What kind of game is that? Trust me, he's not gonna win everything, okay? Now, are we all gonna sit around like a bunch of fucktards, or are we gonna play? Alright. The game is blackjack. We play 20 games. Whoever wins the most wins. You got it? Yeah, I got it. There you go. So why are you here anyway? <clears throat> I need money for my kid. He needs a heart transplant. I ain't got that kind of money. Mm, that's rough. I lived in Canada a couple years back. They're pretty good with that kind of stuff. You know, free healthcare and all. Hey, am I interrupting? Or are you gonna stop being a fucking sentimental bitch and deal the cards? Hold your horses and deal. Deal, okay? Boss. Alright guy, what will be? Hit me. I'm gonna stay. Whoa. Dance. Not bad for your first game. Where'd you find this guy? Yeah, don't worry about it.
See, free health care ain't such a bad idea. Well, I need, at least not for someone like you. But for guys like us, we don't need it. I guess your kid's better off in Canada then. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Anyways, the way America's headed, won't be too long before we get that here. Fuck that. We get government health care, I'm moving. I'm well, moving. you better start packing your bags, because we already got that affordable care shit. It's a step. My parents didn't move to America for my wall to be raped by the fucking government. If we get the government health care, Texas or another state better separate so I can move. Aw, who's the sentimental bitch now? Yeah, fucking hit me, would you? You got you, bro. It's four. An intern, chalk another one up for Sergio. Intern, why the fuck do we have an intern? We're mafia guys, we don't need interns. What kind of shit is that? He does deliveries for us. He's more of a protege. The boss said I could become part of the crew if I show him I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, ladies, this is it. This is totally it's a score. Angelo's got three, the boss has got two, and these two are tied at seven. You got 15. Sergio. Mm -hmm. That's an 80, you got 17. Boss. Can't you see I'm out? Let me stay. Matt. Hit me. That's another 7, you have 17. Angela. Hit me. Seven, you got 22, you're out. Sergio. Mm -hmm. Fuck, that's a six. You got 23, you're out. Boss. Can't you see him out? Fuck. Forgot, forgot. All right, Matt, what will be? Hit me. It's a four. Congratulations. So now what are we going to do? You said he wasn't going to win. No. I said he wasn't going to win everything. Well, I don't know what you're sniffing, boss, but it sure seems he just won everything. So do something about it. What the fuck are you talking about? Didn't I teach you to eliminate the problem when you find it? You want me to kill him? Well, unless you want him to leave and tell everybody how he swindled us. So what the fuck was the point in inviting him to our tail for just gonna kill him anyways? Wanted to see if he could beat you guys. He was gonna die tonight no matter the outcome. Fucking kidding me. If I kill him, do I get my money back? No. He won. Fair and square. And besides, weren't you the one complaining how these new gun laws were preventing you from hunting like you used to? Hmm? Yeah. So here's your release. Guy just got out of jail. No one's gonna care. What about his kid? Kid doesn't know he exists. Mother doesn't know he's out of jail. So you're gonna do it or what? You know what? Fuck you. I could have just killed him and saved my money. You wanted to save your money? You should have won. Should have won? Should have won? Ah, fuck it. I could use the release. Awfully quiet for a guy who's about to die. What are they teaching the slammer? Some Gandhi shit? My name is Tony Giovanni, and I run Chicago's South Side. The drugs, the crime, and the money in this district, it all runs through me. The gangs, rival or not, all need us to conduct their business. They need substance, we bring it in. Someone important needs to die, we handle it. 
All the poverty, all the dead bodies. We control this shit. Everything that happens in this city starts and ends with us. I'm not known for being nice. You show weakness and people pounce. The hard part's not staying in power. It's keeping yourself from fucking it up and trying to help someone. I failed that task. Okay. I'll give you a shot. If you beat him, you get the money for your kid. But you're gonna die tonight either way. It's the only way I salvage my reputation. Understood. Can I help you? Yeah, are you Matt Bolton's wife? I suppose so, but I haven't seen him since Nicholas was born. I'll have a package from Matt. It's for the kid. Is Matt still in jail? He's dead. 